a warning against insoles. In a similar way to your hands, your feet are there to help you take strain, work and move. In both cases, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Would you also put your hands in splints if something hurt and a so-called specialist told you that something was wrong with the way your arm swings? Not only do we find it absurd that insoles are prescribed for feet, but they are also the quickest route to knee, hip and back problems. This is because adding insoles restricts the natural movement of your feet and puts strain on other body parts. No other movement in the body suffers such long-term impediment to movement as your feet do as soon as something hurts or the orthopedist doesn't like a movement such as buckling or a leg axis. Feet don't need to be stabilized. They need to be mobilized, which is something that actually happens in nature. For example, walking barefoot in sand, or rather anywhere you don't have to walk on flat, hard surfaces in shoes. Stabilizing feet with supportive insoles causes them to weaken and to become immobile. The lack of mobility and strength in the feet then leads the insole wearer becoming more and more unsteady throughout their life and eventually hardly being able to walk anymore. Their stiff hips mean they basically just put one foot in front of the other. Hard, flat surfaces and, above all, insoles are the main cause of why people become immobile in old age and can often only walk with effort and pain once they reach retirement age. In contrast, walking and standing while wearing the elastic, springy keybun shoe promotes mobility and strength in the foot with each and every step. Wearers continue to walk upright and dynamically into old age, and in many cases without pain for the most part.